How to Resolve a Connected Entity Violation Few months ago, lots of content creators was shocked with their Facebook accounts, especially with one of their Facebook pages that has been removed from monetization program or being disabled due to a certain unusual activity that violates policies or terms of service. Before anything else, let's discuss what is connected entity violation is all about. A connected entity violation usually refers to an issue where two or more business entities are connected in a way that violates policies or terms of service. In other cases, it can be also when you failed to comply to what the necessary information that has been requested to you to complete in a given time frame. When Meta informed you that your account has been demonetized because you did not provide the necessary information within the given time frame and also required you to send them a copy of a document needed for you pay out account verification, but you missed it. In that case, you will no longer eligible for monetization and your payout account will be disabled. In order to resolve this, make sure you are the payout account admin and you should follow these recommended steps. 1. Review platform policies. You need to review and understand the specific policies violated. 2. Identify connections. Remember all of your account activities in connection with your payout account and determine the exact connections causing the issue. 3. Disconnect entities. Check your business portfolio if you have. Sever ties between violating entities, e.g., remove shared admins, reassign assets. 4. Verify separation. Double-check and ensure distinct ownership, management, and operations. 5. Appeal or contact support. If unsure, contact support or reach out to platform support for guidance. 6. Provide documentation. You should provide proof of separation, if required. 7. Prevent reoccurrence. Make sure you learned your lessons and implement procedures to avoid future violations. If these cannot resolve a specific issue, please provide more context, e.g. platform, entity types, and support team will give you a tailored guidance. You can submit a report again to the Meta support team for more information and make sure you provide the necessary documents. Even though I'm so stressed out Everything just feels like a test that I 